Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about cigar box guitars. This is a three string cigar box guitar and you notice that the frets are spaced wider than a normal fretted instrument. You will need one of these to play along with this lesson. There are other cigar box guitars, I will come to them videos in a couple of months time. But for now we'll start with this one. So first of all let's get it tuned. It is tuned G, the string nearest your chin. D, the middle string, and G again on the bottom. This makes a G chord, and we're just strumming down through the strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that is your G chord. To play a song you need two chords, so in this case we need a D chord, and this is quite easy to play. These are frets here. So one finger goes on the first fret of the top G string, and another finger on the first fret of the bottom G string, like that, and that is your D chord. And again you just strum through the strings. So we've got G. D, G, D, G, D, G, D. So when we're doing a G chord, there are no fingers on the fretboard. You can hold the neck like this if you wish, but when you do a D chord, it is the first finger of the first fret of the top string and your second finger on the first fret of the bottom G string, like that, and you just strum. So taking it easy, G chord. D, G, D, G, D. G, D. To play most songs you need three chords. We've got a G, we've got a D, so we need a C. The C chord is played like this. The first fret of the middle string and the third fret of the bottom G string, the high G string, like that. And that is your C chord. So it's the first fret of the middle string and the third fret of the high G string. So that's your C chord. So you can go G, C, D, G, G, C, D, G. So again, the C chord is the first fret of the middle string and the third fret is a bit of a stretch on the high G string and that is your C chord. So with that, we can start to play a song. So now we'll do the 12 bar blues in the key of G. So for this, we need four bars of G. Each bar has four strums in it, so you go one, two, three, four, first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar. This time you go to a C chord, which is that one again, two bars of C. Back to G for two bars. One bar of D, that chord. One bar of C. Two bars of G. So we'll run through that again. We need four bars of G with four strums per bar. One, two, three, four. That's the first bar. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. 
C chord. That's the first bar of C. Another bar of C. Two bars of G. That's the first bar. That's the second bar. One bar of D. One bar of C. Two bars of G. I will put the description of the chords down below. For each letter, it is four strums on the guitar, or cigar box guitar. Now we've had a couple of run-throughs of the 12-bar blues, we'll play it all together in one go. So, <clears throat> after four, it's four bars on G. One, two, three, four. That's the first bar. That's the second bar. That's the third bar. That's the fourth bar, C. Back to G. D. C. Two bars of G. That's the first bar. Back around again. G for four bars. C. We always finish on a D, then a G. And that's the speed you can play it at. When you can play that, we'll add a bit more to the strum. Now you can hopefully strum through the 12 bar blues. We'll do a bit more with the right hand with the pick. Instead of going one, two, three, four, this hand's doing nothing, it's just supporting the neck. We're going to pluck the top string, one, two, three, four, one. So you're still strumming, you're, not, you're still counting to four, but not strumming four. You're doing one, two, three, four. So the 12 bar blues now sounds like this. One bar of G. Second bar of G. Third bar of G. Fourth bar of G. You put the C chord on up here. Back to G. One bar of D. One bar of C. Two bars of G. At speed, it sounds like this. Always remember to finish D, then a G. Now we'll add another strum to the cigar box. This time we're going to go back to strumming on the count of four downwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But in the gaps in between we're going to strum up on the ands. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. So all together, it, you get four bars of G. We we'll go back to the 12 bar blues. That's the first bar. One and two and three and four and second. That's the third. That's the fourth. Two bars of C, so I'll put a C chord up, up here. One and two and three and four and another bar of C. Back to G. Another bar of G. 
one bar of D, one bar of C, two bars of G. So now we'll play that all the way through on the 12 bar blues. The 12 bar blues using that new strum. First bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, that's the C chord, back to G. D, C, and G for two bars. We'll repeat it again, G. This is the third bar. The fourth bar, then C. Back to G. D. C. G. One of the advantages of a cigar box guitar with the frets in this position is you can play melodies at the same time. The low G and the middle D string is enough to make the G chord on itself. We add the high G just to give it a harmony. But what you can do on one of these is any fret you play on the bottom string will be in tune with a G chord. So you can do, so I'm just going to be playing first, second and third. Okay? I'll just be strumming down and up like that. So you can do stuff like this. So any fret you play on the bottom string when you're strumming a G chord will be in tune and you can pick out little melodies. So like you say, I'll just do this on the bottom frets here this time. So while you're strumming G, Rather than this left hand doing nothing, just add fingers off and on the frets and you can create little counter melodies. That's one of the advantages of the frets being spaced out this way. On some cigar box guitar there'd be more frets and you can't do that on that one. But on this one, that's what you can do. There's other things you can do on this cigar box guitar when going from a D to a G chord. This is the D chord. What you can do is you at the first fret, obviously, <coughs> excuse me, you slide up to the second, back to the first, then into G. So anytime you're going from a D to a G chord, you can do. So, we'll go through that again. It, it, you do your D chord like that. Strum it like that. Slide up to the next fret. Back to the original position. Then into a G chord. So you get... If you're doing it in a bar of a music, you do 1, 2 on the um, D chord. The third, slide up one fret. Slide back for the fourth in D normal position, then into G. So with a rhythm. One and two and three and four and G. 
again. One and two and three and four and G. One and two and three and four and G. And that's things you can do when going from the D to the G chord. As well as playing chords in this position, we can play chords up the neck. So G will leave as it is, because that requires no effort at all. It's just strumming an open string, apart from maybe doing a bit of melody work. Okay? So, C chord is that one. We can also play it at the third fret. This, this is the knot, that thing there, and these are frets. So at the third fret, you play just behind it, I'm going to use one finger and tuck the others underneath so you can see, but if you're playing, don't do that. So that's a C chord now. I personally don't do it that way. I use three fingers in that gap, as you can see, there's three there. That's a C chord. If you move everything up one fret, that's a D chord. So we've got G, C chord at the third fret, slide up one fret, that's your D chord, back to C, and back to G. So you can mix it up so you can go like this. So when you're playing a C chord, you can play it there or there. When you're playing a D chord, there or there. And it gives you much more choice with the instrument. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook, and we have a web page, obviously. All the information is contained in the link down below. So until next time, keep practicing, keep playing. Goodbye.